We back on this WWE 2K23. 10 days in a row. This is the 10th episode. We're going to beat the game in this episode. We're going to wrap everything up today. So, man, it's been a good run. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. <laughs> it's been a good run. But if you think it's over, boy, you're tripping. I'm going to be right back with another series in a day or two. Just stay tuned. It all comes down to this. Win the title at SummerSlam and you're golden. Set for life, probably. Lose? Eh, uh, well, you're finished. Done. Ruined. Gone forever. What happened to the Tavish who once told me there was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE? I'm trying a different approach. Is it working? Not really. All right. Have you decided what type of match you're going to pick? Because I was thinking, you should choose the safe match. As in, like, the safe choice? I'm not sure what that would even be. No. I mean a new match type I came up with called a safe match. You win by locking your opponent in the safe that you add in your WWE debut. Everything comes full circle. It's called long-term storytelling, mate. <laughs> Do you love it? I'm not sure. Well, if you can't make up your mind about the match type, we at least need to know who's going to be in your corner. The faction started a pool on who you're going to pick. Go with Chosen, and drinks are on me. Now, you know damn well I ain't choosing Chosen. Choosing Chosen? Yeah, whatever. Uh, I don't know if you drunk, stupid, or both, but you know who I'm going with, and it ain't Chosen. Why would I choose fake ass little Mysterio? I mean, me and him cool now, but I'm going with The Rock. Nothing against the rest of our crew, but I want him out there watching my back. Seriously? Not chosen one to pull, and he's never going to shut up about it. But yeah, good choice. It's been a bit, but here we are, wrapping things up with SummerSlam approaching. You mean you're not going to follow me around the rest of my career? Everything has to come to an end. I mean, I know viewers think they want a super long story that goes on and on forever, but really, isn't something shorter with an actual ending better? It's like, you have this cool experience, and then you can go watch something from the women's division, right? Anyway, we're getting off track. SummerSlam's in LA, of all places. Ugh. I know. It's a chance at redemption on so many levels. I'm back in the main event, but instead of a bunch of empty seats this time, we're the biggest thing in town and it's sold out. It feels good. What about the match stipulation, though? I might be reading into this too much, but are you putting off making a decision because it means the match is officially here, and if you lose, you'll be faced with leaving WWE? Not at all. Despite my recent success, I'm going to need to do everything I can to win. So, I've been keeping the match stipulation to myself as a strategic advantage. Makes sense. But what are you going to choose? You're going to have to announce it sooner than later. British rules extreme. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Extreme rules. Let's get it. If you need an answer, it's going to be an extreme rules match. I don't want any restrictions stopping me from doing whatever I need to do to beat Slade, win the championship, and hang on to my job. Solid choice. And if this is it, well, it's been fun. And weird. Mostly fun, though. Hope to see you around. Around here, I mean. Yeah. You too, Kat. So final thoughts heading into SummerSlam. Will you walk away champion and end your former friend's WWE career? Or will he somehow overcome the odds and beat the deadline? <laughs> Are those the type of questions you typically ask? If so, I'm glad I haven't wasted my time doing more of these. But if you need an answer, The Lock is going to be looking for a job after SummerSlam. And let's get one thing straight. We were never friends. But I will take this opportunity to thank him. See, if he hadn't been such a failure, and blown every opportunity that was handed to him, I might not be where I am today. So thanks for that. Confident, despite the fact that you didn't get to even choose the match stipulation. I don't care what kind of match it is. It could be a blindfold match, a, a, a lumberjack match, or a freaking padlock on a pole match for all I care. They all end the same. I win. Hey. We're on a tight schedule, so we need to make a call, one way or another. 
Understood. No idea why Shawn Michaels' supergroup is assembled here, but I guess we're about to find out. Slade, I know this might be a bit uncomfortable, but it's time to do what we discussed. Bear with us. We have some business to take care of. What is going on here? I have a bad feeling about this. I know we talked this over, but now that we're out here, it doesn't feel right. Slade, we've been over this already. Just do the right thing. I can win the match at SummerSlam. Just give me the chance. It's been decided. We're going with Randy instead. So let's take care of this before it gets any more awkward. I know I can get the job done. I really didn't want to do this in front of the entire world. But if you need me to explain why you can't get the job done, then I will. For starters, the night The Lock returned to WWE, you overruled me by facing it. And then I had to intervene to save your championship. Or how about the time you got beat down backstage, which allowed this SummerSlam match to even happen in the first place? Or more recently, when our factions battled in war games, you lost, allowing the opposition to choose the championship match stipulation. So, if you're not picking up on it, there's a common theme with you lately. Losing. But we're not about to lose the most important match in WWE history. But you know who's all about winning and is a proven commodity? The Viper Randy Orton. So Slade, do what you've done your entire career. Be a team player and fall in line. I was not expecting to see this tonight. Me neither. This is flat out wrong. It's either that or we'll make the decision for you. Don't do it, Slade. Come on. You're better than this. No, no, no. He, he's going to do Give it. Give it to Randy. This Let is me fight absolutely Randy. Absolutely disgusting. Let me fight what a Randy. Farce. Yes, sir. Let me fight Randy. And here comes the referee to the count the pinfall. What a joke. And Randy Orton is your new WWE champion. Unbelievable. I never thought we'd see a WWE championship change hands like this, but here we are. Look, I'm in shock too, but let's not forget the main event of SummerSlam has just been drastically altered. The challenger had game plan to face Slade, but will now be up against a much different opponent in Randy Orton. I agree, Corey. Beating the deadline was going to be difficult, but it just got significantly harder, in my opinion. Man, what your crippled ass want, punk ass dude? I'm gonna put your ass in a wheelchair the first chance I get! What do you want? Here to pull another last minute swerve? No, actually the opposite. I'm proposing a gentleman's agreement. I'll be in Randy's corner and you have your backup and yours. But let's agree to keep the others out of this. No one else from either side gets involved in the match. Hey, the loaf making for <laughs>
It's one of the greatest to ever lace them up. WWE Champion Randy Orton. Introducing the challenger from New York, weighing in at 215 pounds, Sub-Zero. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, the Viper. To hold one of the biggest titles in WWE means you're one of the best in the industry. I've been waiting on you. I've been waiting on you from the beginning. I've been waiting on you. I've been waiting on you. I've been waiting. Little Randy, this match go go for 25 minutes. 25 minimum. 25 minimum. I've been waiting, Little Randy. Oh, okay. I like that. Put up a. F Ain't no damn way. Ain't no damn way. You trying to end this? You trying to end this match already? No. Uh-uh. I like that. I like that. I like that. But right back at you. Set up. Oh, you want to dodge and weave? You want to dodge and weave? No, man. Let me fight Randy. Let me fight him. Orton's clearly in control now. It looks like he's trying for a top rope hung DDT. His opponent's doing everything he can to counter. And here comes Shawn Michaels with the assist. But Shawn gets taken out. And now the challenger has an opening. Orton charges. Drop toe hold into the corner. Meanwhile, all hell is broken loose at ringside. It looks like they'll no longer be a factor in this match. This is now truly one-on-one. -on -one. Or is it? Slade is here. What happened to the gentleman's agreement? It's out the window, clearly. The challenger's in big trouble here. RKO on Randy Orton. What the hell? Did that just happen? Apparently, Slade hasn't gotten over being replaced. And that could be enough to end this. Orton kicks out. I thought that was it. So did the challenger, but it's going to take a lot more than that to put away the Viper. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. No more interruptions. Defeat Randy, let's go. Now we get a real match. Damn. I like that, put up a fight. Put up a fight. Put up a damn fight. No more scripted, no more interruptions. Big slap. Now I get to beat your ass for 25 minutes. Oh, you want to reverse a slap. Oh, so you want to reverse my slap. Say less. Damn, DDT on my forehead, but I'm back up. I'm back up. I'm back up. Bust your head wide open. I'm here, little Randy. Slap. I'm going to get my slap. Five finger slap. Come on. Hit him with them combos. Hit him. Oh, you want to keep reversing. Okay, buddy. Okay. Big backhand. Hit him with them combos again. Sit your dumb ass down. I'm tired of you reversing, little dude. I'm tired of you. going to keep reversing, huh? I like it. Because I'm reversing right back. I'm reversing right back. Whatever you can do, I can do it eight times better. Slap! Oh, you gonna there. keep reversing my slap? Uh -oh. Another reverse. He's able to sidestep. Come on! Mm. Now he's stunned. Get up! Get up! Hit him with the IKO! Hit him! Oh, I didn't mean to throw him over the ropes. Say less. 
I'm gonna drop you school on your forehead. No, 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 no. Yeah, on your forehead. Bust your head open to the white meat. I'm gonna bust your. You wanna take my chair? You wanna take my chair? Ooh, hold on, hold on. Oh. Hell no. It's too early to leave. You not leaving this early. You not leaving this early. Come on. You missed. You missed. You missed. You missed. You not leaving this early. I need another slap. Goodness, did you hear that chop? I need at least 25 minutes. Where you going, Lil Randy? Where you going, Lil Randy? I need 25. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Hit him with his own move. The RK0 and Randy Orton. And we loading up another one. Oh, okay. I can do that too, little buddy. I can reverse too. I can reverse too. Come on. We gonna be here for a while. Load it up. Get your stamina back then, load it up. You ain't gonna reverse this one. You stunned, buddy. You done, buddy. You done. Hurry up. I got a needy old forehead. Come on. You regretting your decisions yet, fucker? Yo, you yeah, grabbed it. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. Go ahead, bro. I like that. Come on. I got my chair. You got your chair. But I'm going to use your chair on you, and I'm going to use my chair on you, fucker. Come on. Get in here. Get, get your dumb ass down. The hell wrong with you? Oh, shit. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Well, like I said, I'm going to use your chair on you, too. Wait a damn minute. Why I say chair? It's a damn step. Mm, bitch. And it is clear the mission Get now off. is to destroy and incapacitate. Oh, I wanted my slap. He I wanted my corner. slap. And Get your hands off of me. Sit. Mm. You gonna kick me in my face? Say less. Damn. No, damn. Oh, shit. Damn. I like that, little Randy, but I'm back up, little Randy. Get your ass in here, little Randy. Sit your ass down, little Randy. Sit your... Mm. I ain't done with you, brother. I ain't done with you, brother. Can I use this? I guess not. I was trying to see if I could, like, open a chair and put his head in a damn chair, but I guess not. Come on. Big kick to your forehead. Come on. I've been waiting too long to whoop your ass, little Randy. Okay, bet. Okay, bet. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Come on. Mm. I've been waiting too long. I've been waiting way too long. Mm. I'm going to take my time with you, fucker. I'm going to take my sweet, sweet little time. Get out the damn way, ref. Let's go. I'm going to take my sweet little time whooping your ass. I said 25 minutes. We going 25. 25. Come on. God damn it. Big reverse. Come on. Hit him with that IKO. See, you got your RKO, brother. But I stole yours. Made it better. And hit him with the IKO. He's done. One, two. Oh, so you want to go a little bit longer. That ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. That ain't no. Oh, damn. Smack the shit out. What you, what, you, what, you, what, you, what, you, what you doing all that for? What you doing all that for? What you doing all that for? Come here. Get your punk ass in that corner. What you doing all that celebrating for? What you celebrating? Uh, ass whooping? Sit down. Doing all that celebrating for what? Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. As a matter of fact, you going through that goddamn table. You going through the table. See, I ain't even want to do this to you. I'm lying. I did. You going through the table. Get up. Get your punk ass up, the Randy. Come on. Listen. You, you, you. Nah, uh-uh. 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 You not. But, nah, hell, hell, hell no. Nah. You going through the table. We back outside, little Randy. Where we at, little Randy? 
We at that table, huh, little Randy? I told your punk ass you're going through this table. What I say? What I say? What I say? You going through the goddamn table. I ain't playing with you, little dude. I told you 25 minutes is 23. It's 23 minutes. You going through the table. This has gotten out of hand. This has gone. It's been 23 minutes, little dude. And I ain't done with you, little dude. I told you I'm going to beat your ass like you stole something. Come here. Get him with the finisher. Come on, man. I ain't done with you. I ain't done with you. I'm not done. I'm not done. I missed. Mm. Come on. Get your punk ass back inside, little Randy. 24 minutes. 20 more seconds. It's been 25. I wasn't lying. I wanted to whoop your ass for 25 minutes. It's 25 minutes. Are you still out here reversing? Well, I could do the same, brother. Well, I could do the same, brother. Well, I could do the same, brother. And now you're stunned, and now you're done. Hit him with the finisher. Or the signature, my bad. Hit him with the signature. He's done. You see, I ain't never want to do this to you, little Randy. Last year, we was cool, little Randy. I don't know what the hell got into you, little Randy. What you done? You done messed up. You went against the God. Sit down. Boy. Two. It's a perfect way to end it. It's a perfect way to end it. It's a perfect way to end it. By beating your punk ass again. Three, four, five times, it don't matter. It's a perfect way to end it. Come here. Get your whole ass outside. I got a new move. I ain't even gonna drop you on your forehead. I got another move. I got another move. That's cool. You ain't say nothing but a word, stupid. Get up. A big old power bomb. With a knee to your mouth. Yeah, it's a perfect way to finish it all off. Beating your ass one last time. One last time. One last time. Now your dumb ass thought you was really going to cheat me. By waiting until I was done with little Randy. And sneak me. See so you dead wrong. You dead wrong. You dead wrong. You thought I was tired. But I ain't never tired. I don't get tired. I don't get tired. Get your whole ass up. Get up. I don't get tired, little dude. That's what you don't understand. Get in that corner. You're done. You're done. You're done. I'm going to hit you with the same move I finished little Randy off with. You're done. No stamina. It don't matter. He's out of here. Mm. Come on. Finish it off. One. Two. Oh, so you won't move. You ain't done. Well, I ain't done either. Load it up. Load it up. Turn your punk ass around. Hit him with the spear. And I ain't done either. Come on. Come on. Mm. You're stunned and you're done. You're stunned and done. You're done and stunned. Come on. Big slap. Backhand. Hit him with the combos. Hit him with the combos. I have fun whooping your ass. And if this is the end, it was a good one. Goodbye, Sammy. Irish whip, but Sammy reverses. Oh, the newly minted champion hit hard. But Sammy Zayn looks to capitalize. He's setting up for the Huluva kick. This could be it. He moved. He dodged the Huluva 
kick. With the roll up. That will do it. He successfully defended his WWE Championship after Sami Zayn's shocking cash in. Sami Zayn can't believe it. He thought he picked the perfect moment to cash in. And there goes Sami. Thanks for coming out. And now the champion's faction has come out to congratulate their leader. We talked about how the champion wanted to do everything himself when he first got to WWE, but he wouldn't be experiencing any of this if he hadn't learned to be part of a team and eventually lead one. Some of these men may now be looking for an opportunity to face the new champion, but for tonight at least, it's time to soak this all in and enjoy the moment. And there you see Slade who had his share of ups and downs with the new champion after being dropped from the title match tonight, but still making his presence known. He may also be looking for redemption, but for now, it seems as if he's willing to give his former ally the respect he deserves. Good, because I don't think we or our champion can withstand another impromptu match. Let the man celebrate. He's earned it. He certainly has, Corey. Thank you once again for joining us at SummerSlam. Good night, everybody. Stubborn? Definitely. Like right up there with the best of them, including yours truly. And things definitely didn't go as planned. I mean, I haven't been in management for too long, but even I know it's not the intention to fire a top prospect and then go to war with them after they force their way back into WWE. But at the end of the day, we trusted the process and the results speak for themselves. He lived up to his potential, didn't he? We said he was a future champion, and now he is. We weren't wrong. Did he color outside the lines a bit on his way there? Yes. But that's what the best artists do, and I respect that. I really do.